Hello there and welcome to my little video. Today I'm going to be looking at an app which is called FibriCheck. Now when you open up FibriCheck you just literally sign in with a pin code and there's the menu in front of you. Now FibriCheck is used to check your um, heartbeat, the rate and also the rhythm which is quite useful if you have um, heart palpitations or problems with your heart. This is a good way to keep a track. Um, and what you do is you, at this stage, you would place your finger on the camera. So I'm going to do that now. So my finger is on the camera. And now we push the start button, which obviously you can see is a heart. At this stage, the camera lights up and we then start to measure the pulse and also the rhythm. Now, as you can see, my heart rate is quite fast at the moment. That's because I've just been for a mile walk and we have 52 seconds left it's currently at 95 and the heart rhythm at the moment um, i can tell you is actually very good um, i've been ha having some heart palpitations of, of late uh, which is what prompted me to buy this uh, subscription i think it's about three pound 99 or five pound 99 a month you can have it for one month or you can have it continuous um, but so far it's worth every penny and as you can see, it's measuring my heart, and this is all done through your fingertip, which is um, taken through the camera on the back of your phone. Now, we're getting to the end, and what will happen then is it will finish, and it will produce a report. And then we can look at the report in a little bit more detail. Now, the thing that I like about this, which is something useful I found, is that I was able to take the report to my doctor because having a look at your heart palpitations when you're at the doctors isn't necessarily possible uh, for example I went to the doctors and my heart was fine the rates and and everything else there were no problems whatsoever so he couldn't detect anything however I had a track record of when I actually had the palpitations so here when you get to this stage you now go I was experiencing no symptoms I'm going to put that I was walking because at the time I was sitting, but I was actually uh, been for a mile walk. And then I'm going to click save. Now at save, it says your measurement has been successfully sent for analysis. Now what this means is that it's also been sent off to a professional. And the professional can actually look at your report and give you a um, their their. Um, uh, outlook on it what they what they think from looking at your uh, symptoms so obviously if you've got any problems you can actually I thought obviously that costs money uh, nothing's free in this world but here you can see when we go to the next stage it says that my heart rate rhythm was regular and my heart rate was normal I tend to do this after I've had a walk um, and then down the bottom you can click request review now that's where if you click request review it also says there are human verification of the results and a more in-depth report results ready to share with your physician if needed but I'll show you in a moment you can actually get a report to take to your doctor anyway so when we proceed there oh it's actually 9.99 so from the actual doctor it's 9.99 um, and um, the monthly subscription for this as well is 5.99 so we want to come out of that and all we want to do here is to generate the report so i've clicked that and it's generating the report and view report right now we can view the report now as you can see up the top here it says um heart rhythm your heart rhythm is regular you reported no symptoms your heart rate is normal it averages 91 beats per minute you indicated you were walking before the measurement so everything looks good in in that respect and then as you can see with the signals here the thing that i'm looking at is and i've noticed that when i have a heart palpitation these red dots aren't together so you're as you can see they're all together there and then when you have a heart palpitation there's a big gap and if I get six or seven heart palpitations within a one minute on this, 
it records it on that top line it records it on the tachogram which is the second line down and it also records it on this Lorenz plot now on the Lorenz plot you see that all the dots are in green there and it makes up one big green blob well when I've got heart palpitations you get dots all over that graph and the same for this graph here the tachogram you get dots up and down and all over the place so I've already taken one of the uh, reports to my doctor and um, he he's very uh, interested in, in looking at that and what they've decided to do as a result of that is they've decided to put a tape on me for 24 hours to measure my heart and uh, see what's going on even when I'm sleeping um, so we've got all the reports here have a look see what's in there so let's have a look at the 17th for the 10th see if there's anything in there end of results so here you can see you've got a full report a full February check report of all your tests that you've done um, weekend in the 7th of October and if you look here there's those heart palpitations that I was telling you about you can see two clear gaps there and another two there and then up the top here it says that my heart rate is regular but if there's any more than that usually it comes up and says that it's irregular and it's in yellow and as you can see there those two dots are out of place and there that's where I was having the heart palpitations and so on so would I recommend this app 100% um, even if you just keep it for a month or two months while you've got these symptoms get a few reports together and then at least you can take them to your doctor and say hey doc this is what I'm suffering thanks very much for listening and watching hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you again soon